Have you ever experienced a sudden downpour or a heatwave that seemed out of the ordinary? Or have you noticed an increase in natural disasters like hurricanes, floods, or wildfires? If so, you're not alone. But have you ever stopped to wonder if there might be a connection between these wilder weather patterns and climate change? In this video, we'll dive into the surprising link between extreme weather and the changing climate and explore what we can do to mitigate the impacts. So, buckle up and join us on a journey to uncover the truth about wilder weather and climate change. As we've seen, extreme weather events have become more common in recent years. But why is this happening? Is it just a coincidence, or is there something deeper at play? Well, it turns out that climate change is likely a major factor contributing to the increase in extreme weather events. As the planet warms, the atmosphere can hold more moisture, leading to heavier rain and snowfall. This can result in more frequent and severe floods, as well as landslides and mudslides. Additionally, rising temperatures can also lead to more heat waves, which can be dangerous and even deadly, especially for vulnerable populations like the elderly and young children. But it's not just the heat that we have to worry about. Warmer temperatures can also fuel the development of more powerful hurricanes and typhoons, which can cause widespread destruction and loss of life. As we continue to uncover the surprising link between wilder weather and climate change, it's important to note that this isn't just a theoretical concept. We're seeing the impacts firsthand all around the world. In 2021 alone, 10.6% of weather stations across the globe recorded record temperatures. This is a significant increase from previous years, and it's likely that we'll see even more records broken in the future if we don't take action to address the root cause of climate change. But it's not just the temperature records that are cause for concern. We're also seeing a rise in the number and severity of extreme weather events, from heat waves and droughts to hurricanes and floods. The impacts of these events can be devastating, both for people and for the environment. It's crucial that we take steps to reduce our carbon emissions and slow the warming of the planet in order to protect ourselves and future generations from the worst impacts of world weather and climate change. As we've discussed, changes in weather and climate are connected to shifts in the jet stream, a band of west to east moving winds in the mid-latitudes. But what exactly is the jet stream and how does it contribute to wilder weather? The jet stream is a fast-moving current of air that helps to steer weather systems around the globe. It's created by the temperature difference between the cold polar air and the warm tropical air. As the planet warms, the temperature difference between these two regions decreases, leading to a weaker and more erratic jet stream. This can result in weather patterns becoming stuck in place, leading to prolonged periods of extreme heat or cold, as well as more frequent and severe storms. So, as you can see, the jet stream plays a crucial role in shaping our weather and climate. Understanding how it's influenced by climate change can help us to better predict and prepare for the impacts of wilder weather in the future. As we've learned, the jet stream is a fast-moving current of air that helps to steer weather systems around the globe. But how does it form and what causes it to move? The jet stream forms where warm air from the tropics meets cold air from the poles. This temperature difference creates strong winds, which are then influenced by the rotation of the Earth. The Earth's rotation causes the winds to be deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere, creating the west-to-east movement of the jet stream. This movement of the jet stream helps to transport weather systems around the globe, bringing warm and cold air together and creating the diversity of weather patterns that we see on Earth. But as the planet warms and the temperature difference between the tropics and the poles decreases, the jet stream becomes weaker and more erratic, leading to changes in weather patterns and the increased frequency of extreme weather events. Understanding the role of the jet stream in shaping our weather and climate is key to predicting and preparing for the impacts of wilder weather in the future. As we've learned, the jet stream plays a crucial role in shaping our weather and climate. But it's not just the Earth's rotation that influences the jet stream. Climate change may also be contributing to changes in the jet stream, including weakening and slowing. Why is this happening? As the planet warms due to increasing levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the temperature difference between the cold polar air and the warm tropical air decreases. 
This leads to a weaker jet stream, which can become more sluggish and prone to getting stuck in place. Bins can become stagnant, leading to prolonged periods of extreme heat or cold, as well as more frequent and severe storms. So, as you can see, climate change may be contributing to the wilder weather patterns that we're seeing around the globe. It's crucial that we take steps to reduce our carbon emissions and slow the warming of the planet in order to protect ourselves and future generations from the worst impacts of extreme weather events. As we've discussed, extreme weather events are becoming more common and more severe due in part to changes in the jet stream. But what does this look like in practice? Let's take a look at some examples of extreme weather events in 2021 that have been connected to the jet stream. One example is the Texas Deep Freeze, which occurred in February 2021. The event was caused by a sudden break in the jet stream, which allowed a blast of Arctic air to sweep down into the southern United States. The resulting extreme cold led to widespread power outages, water shortages, and food shortages, as well as numerous deaths. Another example is the Pacific Northwest heat wave, which occurred in August 2021. The event was caused by a high-pressure system that became stuck in place, leading to prolonged periods of extreme heat. The heat wave contributed to numerous wildfires and led to a number of heat-related deaths. Other examples of extreme weather events in 2021 connected to the jet stream include the European flooding, Siberian fires, and Hurricane Ida. These events highlight the devastating impacts of wilder weather and the importance of understanding and addressing the underlying causes, including climate change and the changes in the jet stream. It's crucial that we take action to mitigate the impacts of extreme weather and protect ourselves and future generations. As we've seen, extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and more severe, and research suggests that these patterns will continue in the future. This is a cause for concern, as these events can have devastating impacts on people and the environment. So, what can we do to mitigate the impacts of extreme weather and protect ourselves and future generations? One key step is to reduce our carbon emissions and slow the warming of the planet. By cutting back on our use of fossil fuels and adopting clean energy sources, we can help to reduce the severity of climate change and its impacts on the jet stream and weather patterns. Another important step is to prepare and adapt to the impacts of extreme weather. This can include things like building more resilient infrastructure, developing emergency response plans, and educating communities about the risks and how to stay safe. It's also important to support research and development into new technologies and approaches that can help us to better understand and predict extreme weather events and their impacts. By taking these steps and working together, we can help to protect ourselves and future generations from the worst impacts of wilder weather and climate change. Thank you for watching another episode of Conspiracy or Reality. We hope that this video has helped you to think critically about the topic at hand and to question whether the conventional wisdom is really what it seems. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join us on our journey to uncover the truth about the world around us. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay curious and keep questioning.